T-minus two minutes and counting. Don't forget, watch for that uh, one minute and 19 seconds after launch. That's when maximum Q, maximum dynamic pressure takes place. It's a dangerous moment of the flight. Then at two minutes, 35 seconds, first stage cutoff. Then at five minutes, 41 seconds, second stage cutoff. Six minutes, 12 seconds, orbital insertion. One minute and 40 seconds and counting. 140 and counting at Cape Kennedy under cloudless skies. Astronauts in exhibit in white preparing for four days in space in America's Three first walk in space. T-minus 90 seconds and counting. The launch vehicle has gone to internal power. The launch vehicle is now on its own battery power. All systems still looking good in the spacecraft and with the launch vehicle itself. Cape Kennedy and the world watching this by early bird satellite. T-minus 60 seconds in coming. On pad 19 at Cape Kennedy, we're in the last minute. T-minus 50 T -minus seconds 50. in counting. The bird stands there in magnificent glory in its last seconds on Earth. T-minus 40. Coming down to T minus 30, a half a minute to go, and there it is. T minus 30 seconds in counting. All final checks in the countdown still looking good at this time. Well, listen to the voice. T minus 20 seconds in counting. Yemeni control. You can watch the countdown there on your screen. 15 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Ignition. Lift off. Have a lift off. And there we are. Climbing very nice. Nice. seems to be going well, very well. There's the contrail that sets in at a given altitude. The right dew point for that contrail. It's approaching max Q, that maximum dynamic pressure. It's coming right now. They're going through it right now. Contrail. Seems to be safely through Max Q, safely through the first dangerous point after liftoff, and looks like this baby's going. There's some advisors, the Gemini 4 spacecraft, 1 minute 40 seconds. There's a little change in the abort mode, if necessary. Doesn't look like it's necessary from the, at this point. We're having some transmission difficulty from the spacecraft. The uh, transmissions are intermittent. We just have looks fine here. Two minutes and seven seconds into the flight, and everything looks fine here. We just had the first stage, uh, the uh, sonic boom of the chase aircraft. Pilot Ed White advised that he's received an update of data on the computer on board that spacecraft. We can just see, and it's been confirmed here on the ground. We just see with our high-powered lenses there, that first stage uh, uh, cut off and second stage ignition. guidance system which controls the terminal phase of our flight has gone into effect. The EAC-3 plot is right on the lines, right 
Cardinals in lofting and all other elements. We're, we're right on the money. Hi, Jim. Yes, Chris, my advisor, Jim, did it. Everything looks great, Jim. 